right as we were coming in for docking, we could see the space station kind of off in the distance, but uh, super bright with the solar arrays. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So we're super excited to be here and to see uh, more of those amazing views. Most of the time we're doing science, performing experiments. And why is it interesting to do experiments up here? You might wonder, you know, we could do experiments on the ground. We have a bunch of laboratories around the world in all scientific disciplines. But the one thing that we have up here that those labs do not have is microgravity. And that brings to the forefront a number of phenomena, both in the life science, like living organism, like humans, plants, uh, microorganisms, animals, tissues, cells, all of that. Um, as well as in the physical world, in fluids, in combustion, in materials. There's a bunch of things that either do not happen on the ground or on the ground they're masked by the effects of gravity. So up here, because we are on orbit, we can like switch off the effects of gravity and then all of that comes to the forefront and we can observe and study it. We touch all forms of science from, you know, crystal growth and metallurgy uh, to different life sciences. And there's obviously thousands and thousands of people that make that possible for us. Hey, good morning, Shankini. This is Farmer with you on 3. How are you doing today? Pretty good. We're excited to get started on immunosenescence. I love being a part of the plant science. We're actually growing plants in an enclosure that instead of using soil, we are using hydroponics and aeroponics. And so we're growing carrots and onions and leafy greens. And this is really important for long duration space exploration to have an ability to be able to grow food, fresh food for consumption for these long duration missions. And Sam, I'm back with you. And for this module, we can see we've got some pretty large radishes growing there. There are um, several earth science experiments, one of which is looking at dust in the atmosphere and um, helping to refine our understanding of, of the climate and how that's changing. I am a geologist, and so to be able to see places that I have done uh, field work, to be able to see those from the orbital perspective that we have here on the ISS is just absolutely amazing. Earth is gorgeous. We're up in the Canadian Plains now, and what's, what's immediately obvious once we get up here is just the um, age difference in the surface. Farmer asked to be back with you. This is really exciting. This is uh, really cool to see. It's neat to see them uh, working together. I'm getting to study some of the things that I got to study uh, when I was in grad school, changes in the cardiovascular system, countermeasures to keep astronauts healthy. And by studying them up here, by studying astronauts as subjects, we can gain insights into some of those changes and perhaps come up with uh, solutions, with treatments uh, for folks that are suffering those problems on the ground. The motto of off the earth for the earth is truly a reality up here and, and being able to see that day to day is, is just spectacular.